Do you want me to look at you or the camera? You. You just give us a clap first, Adam. The Phillips household was obviously a crazy household. We had my mum looking after four kids at one point, so I've got two sisters and a younger brother and obviously myself, so she was a single mum doing all the hard work and providing and looking after all four of us, so. Yeah, so my mum did work quite a few jobs at one time. She worked as a receptionist on a pizza shop in Leeds called Harpo's, which is best pizzas in Leeds, by the way. Um, and then she worked at Macro as a receptionist as well. So she worked during the day at Macro until from like half seven until five. And then from six o'clock at the pizza shop till nine sometimes, 11 other nights. So it was kind of, we didn't really see my mum that often. It was more weird. Obviously, see her in the morning before we went to school, she'd take us to school. And then maybe if we went home after that, we'd see her for half an hour as she'd come home, got changed to the next job. Obviously, I'd have a little chat. She'd maybe try and cook us food, but if not, then grandma lived about a 10 minute walk from us, so we'd probably walk over. Obviously, on the weekend, I had football at Leeds. Um, before I was at Leeds, I had obviously Sunday League for two age groups, so. Um, obviously my younger brother as well, he played football as well, so um, she used to just do everything based around a kids, which, you know, for a woman working two different jobs and not having much time to spend with the kids, to spend a whole weekend providing for us and making sure we got to do the things that made us happy and to get us all to this point now. We used to go to Leeds on day release, so we used to miss cut like Tuesdays and Thursdays at school and obviously take the schoolwork with us and do it at football before we trained and it was just all part of getting you ready for the scholarship version and just pushing you through the ranks at Leeds and um, I can remember obviously asking the school and the head teacher, I'm not going to name names but <laughs> he came back with an email saying um, we're not going to allow Calvin to go on day release, I hope Calvin realises that not many people make it as professional footballers, so um, we'd like him to stay in school and focus on his schoolwork. And obviously my mum being the person that she is and how hard she's worked to get me to that point and how much she knows I love football and how much she wants me to be happy in something that I'm doing. Um, she wrote back and said, well, you know, Calvin is going on this day release, so um, you can mark him down for absent on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, it's not going to make any difference to me, so eventually, you know, somehow she she got it to stick and, you know, the rest is history, so it was just more the fact that she believed in me, and which made me believe in myself even more and made me want to succeed even more and, you know, every time I didn't go to school and I was at the training pitch, I was obviously working as hard as possible to eventually be in this situation where I can, I can look, look after certain things, certain aspects of her life and, um, you know, allow her to enjoy, you know, stuff that she deserves to enjoy. And obviously she had the backing of Granny Val, which, you know, as quite a lot of people know, she was a special woman. When we went to my grand's, my grand used to make sure that we'd never get too big for his boots. She always used to say that and don't get too big headed, um, which obviously I tried to do my best at doing that now. and. I always look back at that advice that she's always given me and um, I think obviously I'm a quite, quite a humble person and um, you never see me being too cocky or um, too confident in myself. So um, Obviously you can see that I'm smiling now, it was just, her best qualities was just being around her, just being around the way that she was obviously. Not many people know this because obviously it's from the outside looking in, but we used to go to my grandma's and it used, used to just be a laugh every time we used to go. She used to say things, she used to act in certain ways and we've got a load of video recordings, like the full family's got a load of video recordings of her when she's 
you know, she used to do this thing where she used to watch TV and you know, she used to get so into a programme that she used to mime the words that people are saying. So if somebody's saying a sentence, she'd be like, you know, like saying the same thing, but just not. So we used to get loads of videos of that, but it was just more of being around her and, you know, just enjoying her company because she was an amazing woman. And, you know, the one, one day went by where she didn't make everyone feel, you know, better every time you've seen her. And, um, she obviously made everyone laugh as well. He just used to love being around her, and obviously it's sad that she's not here with us anymore. Um, but I still obviously take these memories and cherish them, you know, every time that I think about her. So. You know, when my younger sister was born, I always used to try and be around her because I just loved taking care of her. I just loved showing her different things and. I just loved, obviously, the young kid's reaction when she sees certain things, and um, it's just something that I've always enjoyed. And I can just remember she used to do this little laugh where I used to go like this, and she used to go <laughs> and laugh like that. So it's just little memories like that, which was nice. And now, obviously, she's a lot older. She's doing very well at uni. Um, she goes to uni in Manchester, actually. Yeah, so she stays at my house a few nights a week. So. Yeah, it's just nice to obviously be so close to my sisters and brothers and um, my twin sister as well. She lives with me yeah. now in Manchester. Yeah, I just obviously love having my siblings around me and I've always wanted to take care of them. I've always wanted to have a great relationship with them and, you know, thankfully I do. And I also live with my girlfriend as well, who I've been with for since I was 13, 14. So it's been an amazing time. She's always been, you know, a person that supports me. She's always been one of them people that I can talk to and, you know, if I'm ever feeling down, I'll go and talk to her and she'll make everything seem a lot better than what it is, so. Now my twin sister's very, she, we're different because she's very, like, the boss. She's the boss, so she literally does everything. She'll make sure everything's sorted. She'll, if we're planning to go for f food all together, she'll make sure table, He's booked at this time, everyone's getting there at this time. Um, I'll say I'm quite similar to my younger sister. I'd say just my twin sister, Darren's maybe got a little bit of a different personality to the rest of us, but that's a good thing because, you know, it kind of keeps us in check and makes sure that we're doing the right things at the right times and make sure we're not getting um, lost with anything or missing any birthdays or anything like that. So, you know, I'm just a proud big brother because I know that everyone and my family's doing well, doing everything to make my mum proud and yeah, I've got very special women in my life. <laughs>